What's going on guys? We're at a pretty cool place. We're at Dickie Newberry's Bass Crib. That's what we're gonna call it. There's the man right there, Dickie. Appreciate you inviting us in, man. Glad to have you. So tell us a little bit about this, because there's a lot of stuff going on in this room. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a probably 30 years of collection here. We a uh, team partner and I back in the, in the late 90s and early 2000, we were having a lot of success. We were winning a lot of stuff, so we saved our money up and we had the house built. And uh, it was a pretty neat little deal. It's just a two bedroom house, you know, with a place to put two boats and store them up here. Yes, sir. And uh, so we built it, and then uh, eventually he, uh, he, believe it or not, he was older than me. And uh, his back got to bother him, he couldn't fish terms anymore. So, so I bought him out. So, and then we just it basically just kept adding and adding uh, a few trophies here and there. And here it is. Well, take us through, tell us some stories about some of these trophies. Take oh, us my through some of your most memorable ones. Well, most of my uh, the old FLW and uh, MLL stuff is uh, it, it's, in, it's in the cabinets here uh, from the back when it was trend, now it's Toyota series um, with a few other different trophies. Uh, there's an Angler of the Year trophy back in, actually, uh, as early as 2019 for the uh, for the Southern, Southwestern Division of the um, uh, Toyota series. So I've got some of my MLF, uh, some of the Tackle Warehouse stuff. I got a fourth place on Okeechobee and eighth place on uh, Yafala, Alabama. And just, uh, just all kinds of stuff. Here was a one of the uh, Toyota series that I won back in 2008 here at Raver. Uh, this is the second place here at, on the same thing, 2002. I see a Texas Team Trail Champion plaque too. Tell yeah, we uh, yeah that's back to late uh, like Ray Roberts, uh, 2015. Uh, Steven Johnson and I won uh, won the Lake Ray Roberts tournament. It was a really really tough tournament. That's where I think we got beat the year before with four fish that weighed 30, and uh, you know, we had 28 something that day. We got 26. I don't know. We got lucky, caught a couple of eight pounders on a tough bite day. I got you. It worked out. Yes, sir. Now, here's something I want to talk about. I don't think you're going to see more BFL first place trophies than over here. Yeah, I, I kind of put a lot of my stuff. Like I told, told you before, the, you know, BFLs was really my, my passion and uh, trying to make it to the All American. So they would make it there a few times. But, uh, this is this is the BFLs. I, I think there's a few of them here from Rayburn, uh, Red River, um, Toledo Bend, even the Spit Tomb. That was my first one back in I think '97. That was old old Red Man, and uh, so made it that year. And guys, I want y'all to realize these are all through here are first place trophies. That's all first place. That's that's amazing. And uh, that's that's a lot of hard work right there and dedication. Yeah, it's like I said earlier, uh, winning a tournament like that, it, it's just being able to uh, dial it in uh, on the fly, basically. Uh, it, when you get that opportunity, especially on a one day event, you've got to make things happen. I mean, once once they start clicking, you got to put it all together, and and you, you got to think fast, you got to think hard, and. and uh, Realize what's going on. Yes. Sometimes it's it's not as easy as just making that same old cast over and over. It's a you you call a big and here doing this. You got to duplicate that somewhere else, and you keep going until you know, and then hopefully at the end of the day you're the winner. Yes, sir. Let's talk about some of these uh, animals you got in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a bow hunter. I'm strictly a, you know I, I don't like uh, using a gun. That's cheap. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, just a just a big bow hunter, and I, I love I love hunting. I love hunting elk, whitetail, mule deer, just about just about everything. 
It's, uh, I've had a lot of fun over the years. I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, I started bow hunting back in the in the mid seventies, actually, and uh, started shooting competition, and um, and it went from there. What's the story on that elk right there? That that elk there came out. Uh, he was he was he come into a wallet, uh, a little wet spot, or kind of offside of a pond and overflow. And uh, he and I, we stared one another down for about 15 or 20 minutes. I was in a pop-up blind set off to the side. And, and he got within uh, 10 or 12 yards of me, and, but I couldn't move. He had me pinned. And once he turned and walked away, uh, he, he stopped to, to look back, and that's when I was able to shoot. Yeah, where was you? Where was y'all hunting at? That was at, in Canada, actually. Canada? Yeah. I got you. Well, Dickie, I greatly appreciate you welcoming us in. This was a treat and a lot of success and uh, very glad to have you on, man, and look forward to doing more stuff with you. Right. Enjoy it. Why?